Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to generate QR code with Java. So, if you don't know, then this is the QR code. You may have seen this kind of image while paying to, you know, you are buying milk or you are buying grocery at the shop, you know, you will see that, you know, shopkeeper is just posted a sticker on the wall or on some of the desk or right on the table maybe. And you just scan with your app digitally paying right maybe you are using google pay phone pay or any other upi in india or if you are using paypal then you just scan with the app and you are paying so there you are not asking the shopkeeper that what is the account number of your bank and you are not asking for the paypal id you are just scanning this qr code and you are paying and the shopkeeper is getting the money right so the qr stands for quick response Okay, it is giving you the quick response. If you put this image in front of your mobile camera, you will see the URL as infibus.com. Right? So, this is the information this QR code is containing. It may be your payment information as well. It may be your mobile number, whatsoever you want to put. It's up to you. Put that information and generate the QR code. Say for example, I want to have QR code for my website. Okay, So when people come to me and ask me that what is the URL of your website, I just need to provide them, hey, this is the QR code here, just scan it, tap on it and you will be landed on my website. Or maybe I can provide my sales page URL directly or contact us or maybe a mobile number, right? Just scan this and you will get my mobile number. So I don't need to give information to each and every person explicitly. It's just QR code, scan it and get it. Same thing applies for the digital payments as well. Say for example, you are the owner of shop and you are using PayPal. You just put the QR code and people will use it to pay you the money, right? So this is what it is being used a QR code, right? So in this video, we are going to create this kind of QR code using Java. So let's first close this and let me delete this image. Okay. Because that's what we are going to create in this video using Java. Okay. So I have deleted the existing one. Now to generate the QR code, we are going to use one library. Okay. That is zebra crossing. In short, you can say as Zing. Okay. So we need to add those dependencies in our pom.xml. If you are using Maven. If you are using Gradle, then just open the build.gradle and put these two dependencies. One is Zing Core and another one is Zing Java AC. Okay, so this is the latest version as of now when I'm recording. Whatever is latest for you as of now, when you are watching this video, go for it. Okay, so this is the Zing Zebra Crossing. So these two dependencies you need to add in your pom.xml or build.gradle file. Now let's move ahead. So this is our class. So, so the first thing is your data. Okay. What you want to have as an information inside your QR code. I want to have my website URL. Okay. So in fevers.com. So this is what I want to generate QR code containing this text as information okay now the next thing is we need to provide the path where we want to create the image okay so when i show you right that was the image basically qr code is an image right you create the image and you paste it on your wall or anywhere right for the digital payments or anything right so that is you can either go for jpg format or png format it's up to you so this is the location where I want to create that image. Okay, so this is the path. Say for example, I want to give the name as infibus.jpg. I'm going for the JPG format. You can go for PNG format as well. Okay, it's up to you. So this is the path and this is the file name. This is the format JPG I'm going for. Now let's move it. Okay, so this Zing library is providing one class that is bit matrix to generate the QR code. So here we will create the new object of bit matrix using multi format writer. 
we will do encode okay now here we need to pass few things okay so the first thing is content what is our data right our string the next thing is format we want to have the qr code right so barcode format dot qr code now the next two things are for the image okay what is the width and height you want for the image right so as i already said qr code is an image so what is the width and height you are looking for for that image right so you can go for any dimension okay 100 by 100 or 500 by 500 i am going with 500 height and 500 width okay so the first parameter is width and the second is height so it doesn't matter okay if you go by 200 by 200 it doesn't matter whatever information qr code it is containing is same when you have 100 by 100 qr code or 400 by 400 or 500 by 500 okay that doesn't matter let me add the throws okay so this is for time being i am doing throws okay you can have the try catch i am not going with the try catch and all okay i am just going with the throws exception to save the time now we have this object of bit matrix right now we have our qr code in the format of this bit matrix the next thing is we need to have the image right so we need to convert this bit matrix to image so matrix to image writer dot you will see couple of methods over here okay so we are going with this one that is write to path so the first is we need to pass the object of bit matrix that is our matrix format jpg okay this is the format image format basically okay now the next thing is path okay so we will use the java nio paths dot get and what is our path that we stored in a string right so the object of bit matrix the format of image jpg and your path where you want to store that image so this is our path we are using java nio files and path okay that's it now let's run the program so if you go to this location okay see there is nothing here so let me run this program so we got some error yeah you don't need to provide this dot over here okay if you are going for jpg or png just put it without any dot okay now let's run again see the image has been created okay just open it see this is the qr code now what you can do just open your mobile camera and put this image in front of the mobile camera it doesn't matter you have android phone or iphone okay and just scan this image or you just need to open the camera okay you don't need to do anything just open the camera and put this image in front of the camera and you will see this information over there okay our data that is npverse.com just tap on it and you will be directed to your browser and this url will get open in your browser whatever is default right so basically your camera is reading this QR code and giving you what information, what data this QR code is containing. Basically the text in our case, right? So this is one way to read the QR code. The next thing is using the Zing library itself, okay? This is what we did is we converted this string, our data to QR code. Using the Zing library itself, we can do reverse thing as well. That means reading the image, which is basically our QR code and get a this data what information what text that qr code is containing that also we can do but in this video i am not going to cover that if you want to have another video on reading the qr code using the zing library and getting this uh, data then just you know do comment in the comment section that you want a video on that and i will try to make a video on that okay so in this video i am not going to cover that part to read the QR code with Java using the Zing library and to get this text. If you want to have a video on that, just you know, do a comment in the comment section. Now let's move ahead. Another way is there are a couple of decoders. Okay, If you go and you know, search in the Google, you will get many QR code decoders online. Okay, You just upload image and it will give you the information Okay, what text it is containing. Okay, One of those is Zing decoder online. You can Google it and i will also provide this url in the description okay 
So this source code, you don't need to worry. Okay, this source code and the libraries, all things I will provide the links in the description. Okay, so don't worry about it. This URL also I will provide in the description of this video. So here there are many decoders. Okay, so what you can do? Just upload this file, do a submit, and it will give you the text. See, it is giving raw text. Infibus.com parse result infibus.com and obviously barcode format is QR code. Okay, so this is not like you created a QR code with a Zing library and you need to use only Zing decoder. No, QR code is a common thing. Okay, apart from Zing library, there are other libraries as well. Okay, using that you can generate the QR code. So if you are creating the QR code with Zing library and you are using another library of Java or any other decoder online, okay, and you scan that QR code, you will get the same result. So it doesn't matter. For example, I am using this Zing decoder online, okay, but you can go for any other online decoder, the result will be same for this particular or any of the QR code you generate, right? Whatever data you provided over here, you will get it, okay? So QR code is common thing. Don't get confused that. I created QR code with Zing library so I can just read it with uh, Zing library or Zing uh, decoder online. No, that's not the case. Okay. QR code is a common thing. You generate it with one library. You can read it with another library as well. Any other online tool or anything, your mobile camera. I tried with Android phone that is I'm having. You can try with your iPhone as well. Okay. And just comment your results in the comment section. So this is how you can create the QR code using Java. If you want to have a video to read this particular image, which is basically QR code using Java and getting back this data, basically the reverse thing, then just to comment in the comment section. So that's all for now. If you like the video, then please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like the video, do comment in the comment section and share with your friends. We'll see you in the another video. Till then, happy learning and happy coding.